Yeah, Evan, Amy, it's the support of the hometown crowd for the hometown boy here in Scranton, Senator Bob Casey. The crowd is growing and it is growing in excitement and in anticipation as well as some of those early numbers are coming in. Now, it's been a long, contentious and even expensive race for the Casey and McCormick campaigns. This race for the Senate seat, one of the most spent in advertising in the country. This has also been a much closer race than Casey has ever experienced in his past three elections in a statistical dead heat. Now this morning, Senator Casey cast his ballot back home here at Scranton High School, even after 18 years in D.C., the hometown Scranton boy returned to his roots to cast his ballot. There he addressed the cameras and continued to draw the stark differences between his campaign and his challengers. It's a very simple choice. If we have an opportunity to win this election, we can make sure that next year we get a middle class tax cut and a robust child tax credit. And you know what? If he wins, the billionaires and big corporations are going to get a huge tax cut and they're going to screw the middle class when they do that. Finally, this is a basic choice about fundamental rights. Spirits started pretty high at early tonight as people began to trickle in after those polls closed. Some of those early numbers are trickling in as well. And again, you heard some cheering from the crowd. Now I think they realize how long of a night they're really in for here. They're kind of tapering some of those expectations. We're not sure exactly when Senator Rob Casey might be making that appearance. But again, we are expected a long night here in Scranton. But for now, live in Scranton, Melissa Steininger. All right, Melissa, thank you very much. Checking back with you. Appreciate it.